Hundreds of people have had to leave their homes over fears over a volcanic eruption. More than a thousand earthquakes have hit the area since midnight. A startling event has just occurred in a small town in Iceland. Earthquakes, fissures, landslides, and lava flows have burst forth from the Earth's depths. Experts predict that this is a prelude to a catastrophic volcanic eruption that could devastate the entire country. Join us in this video as we explore what's happening to Iceland's largest volcano, delving into the potential disaster and whether survival is possible. Volcanoes are both fascinating and destructive wonders of nature. Witnessing hot liquid molten rock spill or flow from the Earth, creating shiny red magma pools, is thrilling. However, the terrifying aspect lies in realizing that this lava is hot enough to instantly melt flesh off bones. Mesmerizing ash clouds and flashes of lightning often accompany these events, appearing captivating on camera, but possessing the potential to obliterate communities within minutes. Our awe for volcanoes is tinged with a deep fear of these fierce, unforgiving mountains. Human settlements are rare near active volcanoes, as the looming threat requires constant vigilance. Currently, Iceland faces a major threat from a volcano named Fagradalfal, and we'll explore the details of this impending disaster. Fagrafjall is an active volcano located about 40 kilometers from Reykjavik, part of the Reykjanes Ridge and the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. The Mid-Atlantic Ridge is a vast magma-producing system along the floor of the Atlantic Ocean. Picture it as a chain of volcanic mountains wrapping around the globe at the intersecting points of tectonic plates. Fagrafial covers an area of about 5 kilometers, with the highest point at 385 meters. Despite its classification as active, Fagrafial remained dormant for 815 years until March 2021, when a fissure appeared, acting as a vent for volcanic lava. This eruption marked a significant shift, breaking the centuries-long slumber. Volcanoes operate by collecting molten rock or magma in underground chambers, which, when under extreme pressure, can lead to violent eruptions. Violent volcanic eruptions often occur due to built-up pressure in magma chambers or tectonic forces at the meeting points of tectonic plates. Tectonic plates are large slabs of rock dividing the Earth's crust. When these plates rub or slide against each other, stress and tension build up, releasing as earthquakes. This forceful release can trigger volcanic eruptions, making eruptions and earthquakes closely linked. In Iceland, the appearance of a fissure in 2021 was followed by mild earthquakes, and lava began to flow. This eruption, though small and distant from human settlements, attracted tourists. Many Icelanders visited the site, taking photos and videos, turning it into an unexpected tourist attraction. Tour companies used aircraft and drones to survey the eruption from above, showcasing the dual nature of fascination and danger associated with volcanoes. Researchers and volcanologists were also captivated by the site, frequently collecting magma samples for research purposes. The 600-foot-long crack provided a safe outlet for lava flow without any explosive activity or volcanic ash, ensuring the safety of enthusiastic tourists. As weeks passed, the number of fissures increased, reaching up to six in total. This continuous eruption persisted for roughly six months. The following year saw another eruption in a different part of Fagrafal, lasting three weeks from August 3, 2022. The recent eruption in November is poised to reshape the neighboring landscape. Silently gearing up for a final eruption, the famous tiny eruption had started to calm down by August 5th, showing only minor activities in the crater on webcam footage. Tremors had significantly reduced, and gas plumes at the site were still noticeable. It seemed like the eruption had concluded, giving the impression of a calm period. Little did anyone know. This was merely the calm before the storm. Volcanic experts revealed that magma had been clandestinely rising since October 23rd, pausing just below the surface before accumulating more volume. By November, a series of earthquakes shook the surrounding landscape, indicating that the volcano was preparing for a surface eruption. These earthquakes intensified on November 9th, progressively migrating over 3,000 meters toward the northeast. Experts predicted that the full force of the eruption would be unleashed within a few days. Responding to the escalating situation, the Icelandic Meteorological Office, 
IMO, declared a civil protection emergency for the citizens of Iceland. While the primary affected areas were those facing the Atlantic Ocean, the entire country was placed on high alert. Given the unpredictable nature of natural disasters like earthquakes, taking chances based on scientific calculations could prove costly. As the imminent danger draws closer, locals are gripped with panic, uncertain about when the volcano will erupt, with predictions suggesting it could be in the next few weeks or even days. In just 48 hours between November 9th and 11, the underground volcanic activity underwent rapid changes. Over 2,800 earthquakes were recorded during this period, accompanied by steady lava flows. By November 9th, approximately 1,400 quakes had been recorded. And by the following day, another 800 quakes were documented within the initial 14 hours. Some of these quakes measured magnitudes of four to five, causing significant vibrations that could rattle buildings to their core. The Iceland Medical Office reported that these recent quakes are the largest recorded since the magma activity began in the peninsula in 2023. It's anticipated that seismic activity will continue in the coming days. Earthquakes play a crucial role in volcanic eruptions because the energy they release can trigger such events. The relationship between volcanic eruptions and earthquakes lies in magma activity. As magma forces its way through the earth, intruding pores and spaces to enter a chamber and expand, it builds tension in the earth. This tension is released as quakes or tremors. A notable example of earthquakes preceding an eruption is the 1943 Paracutin volcanic eruption, where the town experienced earthquakes up to magnitude 4.5 before the actual eruption. Although a majority of the 2,800 quakes recorded in Grindavik were below magnitude 3.0, they pose a significant threat. These small terrors can open small fissures in the earth, potentially paving the way for intense magma flows. Local authorities have identified a nearly 15 kilometers long fissure, raising concerns that it could lead to a massive eruption. A state of emergency has been declared in Grindavik, Iceland, leading to the swift evacuation of residents. Experts fear that this imminent eruption could be extremely disastrous and may last for weeks. Such a colossal eruption would likely obliterate the entire town, resulting in the destruction of many properties. Citizens of Grindavik were given only 15 minutes to gather their belongings and evacuate, leaving behind some important properties. All roads to the town have been closed, with only the international airport remaining open. This evacuation is a painful experience for many, reminiscent of the tragedy that occurred over a decade ago in 2010, when another volcano in Iceland, Eyjafjallajökull, erupted. When Eyjafjallajökull erupted, it released a massive ash cloud that made it impossible for planes to fly. This led to a worldwide aviation shutdown, resulting in the cancellation of over 50,000 flights and affecting more than 8 million passengers. Now, the question is whether this upcoming eruption will be as colossal as Eyjafjallajökull. If yes, what will be the fate of Iceland and the rest of the world? Local authorities in Iceland believe that the Fagradalsfjall eruption would involve more lava outbursts than ash clouds. Matthew James Roberts, the managing director of the Service and Research Division, explained why. Unlike Eyjafjallajökull, Fagradalsfjall doesn't have an ice cap on top, and it's not a stratovolcano. Stratovolcanoes, like Mount Vesuvius in Italy, have alternating layers of lava and ash, and a cone shape with steep sides. In contrast, Fagradalsfjall would likely produce lava through a series of fissures, making that the main hazard. Stratovolcanoes, exemplified by the catastrophic eruption of Mount Vesuvius in 79 AD, can release thick hot ash and gases into the atmosphere, causing extensive damage. However, the potential damage scale of the upcoming Iceland volcanic eruption is uncertain. Still, concerns arise as new cracks, landslides and fissures have appeared on Grindavik roads following intense seismic activities. Some scientists argue that the recent surge in earthquakes might not necessarily indicate an imminent eruption. They propose that the tremors could be a way to relieve stress, not necessarily indicating magma intrusion. However, many credible experts and the government disagree, citing similarities to the events preceding the 2012 eruption on Fagradalsfjall. Thorvaldur Thordarsson, a professor of volcanology at Iceland University, believes an eruption could occur within hours or days, given the increased chance as of November 10, 2023. 
Smoke rising from the ground to the east of Fagradalsfjall has been observed, possibly caused by eruptions from July to August 2023. The magma is still cooling, resulting in the smoke. Predictions suggest that the eruption's destruction may significantly impact the Blue Lagoon, the Svartsengi geothermal power plant, and the coastal town of Grindavik. The Blue Lagoon, famous for its healing properties, has been sealed off due to eruption risks. The impending eruption threatens not only Grindavik and surrounding towns, but the entire country. Iceland is a hotspot for volcanoes, with about 33 active ones. The fear is that Fagradalsfjall's eruption may trigger other nearby volcanoes, leading to widespread destruction. Authorities are taking precautions, evacuating residents, and building protective walls to contain potential lava and mud flows. The fate of Iceland remains uncertain, with potential risks of extensive damage, especially if the eruption affects critical infrastructure and transportation hubs. The Icelandic government is prepared for the eruption's impact on the Reykjanes Peninsula, but hopes that other towns and cities won't face dire consequences in the aftermath. The complexity of Iceland's volcanic systems makes it challenging to predict the eruption's exact outcome, leaving the nation and the world awaiting the inevitable.